the best tips of all time from the number one YouTuber in the world. Let's rock and roll. Uh, can you give me some tips on how to get started? I, I think what I always just say is keep keep working hard and I'm sure you will succeed. But I thought not today. I, I wanted to actually give something more constructive, uh, some some more help than just that. Here we go. First of all, I wanted to start on the equipment because I think it's this is where most people fail right away. I see so many people get really angry about this one because they bought all this expensive equipment and they, they they come to me like, where are the subscribers? Where are all the views? I've got I spent all this money on all this equipment. I always say don't spend money on equipment. It doesn't have to be expensive at all. And I think a lot of people wait with starting videos because they don't have all the equipment. I think it takes practice to make videos. And I think it doesn't hurt to get started with what you have. It definitely doesn't hurt to have nice quality. Don't get me wrong. But it's not automatically going to make you get subscribers. Stand out. <laughs> Personally, I'm very much drawn to, to different things that people do. If I notice a channel doing something I haven't seen before, I'm automatically more drawn to that thing. And I think it was the same thing for me. When I started making videos, I did what everyone else was doing. And I also remember watching all these bigger YouTubers doing the same Call of Duty videos and I'm like, these guys are fucking terrible. I'm way better than these guys. Why is my channel not growing more? But that's the thing. The big ones have already settled in. You know, it, you're not gonna, it's gonna be hard as hell. You have, you have an uphill battle. And it wasn't until I started doing something different, something that hadn't been done before, like the horror videos. That's when I started to get an audience that really cared about the content that I was making. And, and it was so clear. Stay there. You see people on YouTube come and go all the time. I, I don't want to throw any names out there, but a lot of people sort of get boosted from the algorithm of YouTube. Basically, YouTube recommends certain type of videos that fit what they want to promote. Maybe it's really long videos. Maybe it's videos that get a lot of likes and a lot of this and that. And there's always people that abuse the algorithm. It's been since I started on YouTube and, and it's still going on. I th it's just a thing that will, I don't think will ever end. And it's really unfair because a lot of big, a lot of, a lot of YouTubers get really big really fast because of it. But basically, they go away equally fast. If you don't have something to maintain your audience with, something more than your shtick of, uh, of making the algorithm happy, then your, your, your lifespan on YouTube is gonna be short. That's just how it is. So what I'm getting with this is you need a personality. People, people will find your video, but they're, they're not gonna stay unless they care about you as a person. I think YouTube is all about personality. At least that's how I see it. And, and anyone I watch on YouTube, I watch because I care about their personality. I care about them more than just their content, but also who they are as a person. And uh, that's why I enjoy watching them. And that's why I enjoy YouTube. I enjoy it because it's different than television. YouTube is a hobby and a job at the same time, which can be really hard to balance. I, I always get the question, what happens if you miss a day, Felix? What's the big deal? Who's gonna care? Who, who, it's okay, you don't have to upload all the time. But it's like, I set the schedule for me. I know I can do it. It is my job to do it still. I have to do it, okay? I, I see YouTube as a... Uh, it's not gonna last forever, but I might as well make the most of it. Meanwhile, every YouTuber has, has, a, has a, a lifespan. Market yourself. Most YouTubers that you are watching got a helping hand to get where they are. Maybe they don't admit it. Maybe I'm just wrong. Most YouTubers had some helping hand. Maybe, maybe they, uh, maybe their videos were posted on a website. You know, that prom that thought, okay, this is a cool video. Maybe you got trending on Reddit. You know, maybe your family member was a YouTuber, or maybe a friend of you of, of, of that person was a YouTuber, and they helped them. Getting that helping hand on YouTube, it's not essential, but it's a, it makes YouTube easy mode, pretty much. To already, the hardest part of YouTube is to establish your very first audience. If you can get that for free from someone else, hell yeah. Hell yeah, that's the best. But I see a lot of misunderstanding of this as well, because for example, I did this shoutout competition in the past, and 
uh, for example, Jack was one of them, Ken was one of them, and a lot of people look at them and be like, oh, oh, you got a shout out from PewDiePie, oh, oh, that's so bullshit, if I had one, I would be big. No, it, that's not how it works. A shout out can only get you so far. It, it, it gets you that, that base audience, maybe, but they're not gonna stay unless you're worthwhile staying to. They're not gonna care about watching any more videos, unless you upload videos, unless you upload videos that people care about. You don't need a shout out, and a shout out isn't necessarily going to help you unless your content is interesting. That's just how it is. But I would like to finish with, make YouTube with the right intention. I see so many people wanting to make YouTube videos because they want to get famous. They want to make money, uh, which is all great stuff. And YouTube really is an amazing place for, for that. But make YouTube videos because you enjoy making them. If you don't enjoy making them, you're not gonna keep making them. You're just gonna fall off at some point and you're gonna get frustrated that uh, it didn't turn out the way you wanted it to be. If you make videos that you enjoy making it, then you can't lose. If you make videos that you enjoy making, other people will enjoy watching them. I really, really strongly believe in that. So if you're not enjoying making videos, then don't make videos.